Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. In this episode, I... I don't know how, but we gotta find out what the crud happened to her, man. Why, Chief? Mia? God! Uh, I'm still upset. <laughs> it's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. Gee, I wonder which one. She probably died instantly. The thinker. Lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Y yeah, so... Looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. God, that is a tiny bit ironic. Um, There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Okay, so that's another clue. Nothing else that- That, that literally just appeared! What? Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Huh? Oh wait, a piece of paper that spawned out of nowhere! It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Uh... I don't know, but it probably ain't good. Uh... <gasps> a word is written in blood on this... I'm getting some deja vu. Uh... A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? <laughs> Maybe. The piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Weird. Alright. I think that's enough. Snooping around for now. I better call the police. Yeah. Find out what that girl was doing here. That is a good- Oh my- It has a little icon! When you already checked it out! That makes me really happy because I'm incredibly forgetful. Okay, um... Crud, dude, what next? Uh... Are we- I guess we just back out of here and... I just wanna make sure... You know, her sister's okay. Wait, what the The girl just now. Where'd she go? What the heck?! I, I mean... <laughs> I put her right there on that sofa, but as you can s clearly see, now that I've changed the UI opacity, she is not there. Uh, I hope she didn't run on me. That could be bad. Oh my god, what do we- Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, don't scare me like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Choose our next words wisely. We might be next. I mean, M Maya didn't do this. I'm just saying, there's the possibility. Uh, okay. According to Phoenix, we obviously know who did it. And I don't really know how to feel about that yet, because a big part of, like, I know this isn't a murder mystery game per se, but it kind of is, it kind of isn't. But when they tell me who the culprit is automatically, I'm just like, uh, it takes a little bit of that suspense, but I guess it has to be that way, because he is a defense attorney. But anyways, um, excuse me, but who are you? <laughs> Dots. I did not think of a voice for her. It's okay. I work here. Maya... Maya Faye. Maya... Faye? Maya... Faye... <gasps> so Mia was writing this girl's name! Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. <gasps> but that's why the Ace Attorney. Okay, so... Have a present! Your sister's dying... words, kinda. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Uh... Th that's my name! Yeah, I, I can read. Why? Why would she write my name? I cannot do a voice. I don't even know who this person is. The dump. Uh, please, just calm down. W why would she sis write my name? Oh, no, I've done it. God, good job, Phoenix! Why? I better hurry up and call the police. Uh... How do we do that? I want to talk to her, though. Just stinking... Make sure she is okay. She's obviously... Ugh. She seems to be in shock. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? Wait, I came in. The room was dark. And sis... <laughs> so she was already dead. Okay, so... Maya's trying to get framed here for murder. But why did the other... What did the other dude in the intro... What's his incentive to killing her anyways? I don't... Dude. So, you're the chief's... Sister, I'm her younger sister. Her youngest, Rhea. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. What the crud? Evidence? I mean, I already knew that, but... Dude. And it was that clock. It was the thinker. Yeah, so the papers are in there, but like... Are they in there now? No, the dude took them! Crud! Okay, how the dump do I call the cops? I don't know. Let's, uh... That's all we got. 
I don't see a phone in here, so I guess we gotta move into the other room and go back and see that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so. If I examine the phone, we can call the popo. Right. I better call the police. Uh? That's funny. The first funny thing in this episode, because I'm on the verge of tears, a few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through talking. We're taking it apart? Uh, <laughs> LAPD, put your hands up! Please, come quick! Uh, what, 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 huh? What was that? What? S someone screaming from outside the window? Oh, it's not the cop. Huh? Ah! What? What the dump? She's staring right at me! Huh? She's holding a phone in her hand? What? What the? Oh my god. This looks really, really bad. Oh. <laughs> if we run away, though, that's fleeing the scene. Uh, I don't, what would I even do here? Okay, I just found out there was a, um, what's it called? A slide feature. I, I met, this came out for the, the DS, right? No, it was a GBA game, actually. I think, I don't know. I don't remember, but there's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel? What? That is a Watergate <laughs> scandal joke if I've ever heard it. A nice, luxurious place. A woman is dead, Phoenix! Stop complimenting the hotel! What the... Okay, what do I do now? I don't know. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm kind of freaking out. Do not freak out my- Oh my god, the cops are here. <gasps> We're dead. We're dead. Oh my god. The police. It sounds like they're coming this way. Uh, freeze! Police! Huh? The heck's this <laughs> Alright. I'm detective. Uh. Dick. Gumshoe. Say. Gumshoe. What an odd name. <laughs> I was thinking the other part. Uh, we received a report from the building across the way, see? You got a person saying they saw a murder. You wouldn't have known anything about that. Um... It must have been that woman I saw. The dump. How... What? Anyway. I don't want either of you moving an inch. Okay. Uh, great. Just great. Wow, we are... Dude. Maya, wait, she went, come on, dude, she's a little, whoa, wait, whoa, man, excuse me, there's a dead girl in there, man, I say don't move an inch, the heck yeah, <laughs> this word, Maya, here means anything to you, uh, it's pronounced, my, I mean, no, um, uh, that, that's my name, what the heck, that victim drew this here note in her blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Crazy. Killer on my th case closed, you're coming to the press. <laughs> what the cr This guy's an idiot, you can't do that. What, what, what? Oh my god, no. Maya! Dude! Nia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. That's not- I mean, she is a suspect, I guess, but come on, she's a kid. You need more evidence! This is bullcrap! I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. Dang, that sucks. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9 a.m. Visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. I guess because they think she is. Dude, this ain't this ain't cool, dude. Jesus. Uh, oh, hi, it's you, the lawyer. How you been? Me not so great, as you can tell. Good morning. Uh, good morning. She looks so tired. Poor thing. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh. Well, if she asked me, she probably wants me to be, but that's very assuming of me. <laughs> God dang, no. Even if I was like, yeah, I'm the worst attorney in the world, like, you know what? If you want, I'll do it no matter what. But then again, uh, I'm not a lawyer, but uh, yeah, I'll represent you the best I can, if you want. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Uh, <laughs> really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? 
She looks sadder now. Crud! Ah! What? Um, uh, wait. What, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? I mean, uh, I somehow won the last try. I'm just saying. No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I'd done uh, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, crap. Did I look at her like that? Uh, I don't remember. Also, that was Phoenix talking. My bad. Uh, no, I, I, I never thought that. I mean, for... <laughs> it's okay. I understand. <laughs> Going to prison forever. I also heard about you. Uh, heard? Uh, w about me? Little me? <laughs> I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Uh, yeah? Did she say th anything about me? Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? D d did he suck? Or what? It was... Not those words exactly, but it was quite the scene. <laughs> Honestly, I was on the edge of the whole time. It's been a while. So, he crashed and burned? <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ooh, well, you know, she she ain't wrong, I guess. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble. Oh, man, you jinxed yourself hardcore. <laughs> I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait to give him three more years. <laughs> Woo, lordy, uh... That is, unless you want to be found guilty. But, 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 I, nah, she's she ain't wrong. Uh, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, dang. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you indirectly. Her words, not mine. Uh, no, it's okay. It's true, I guess. Um, but at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Oh, God. They, ah! This game is like pulling my heartstrings instantly. Listen, I don't... Should we, should we examine this guy? <laughs> my name's Philip. Uh, the guard admires the visitor room. He hasn't moved an inch. He real pro, this guy. Either that or he's a static sprite in a GBA video game that has been upscaled to 10... 80, okay. Uh, how else can we reassure... Oh, we're just trying to get more info. Okay. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Uh, yes? What's with that outfit? Yeah, you kind of stick out. No, I mean, hey, if you're whatever, I'm, I'm no fashionista. I, oh, this, this is what all acolytes. What? Where? It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? Uh, what is it you do? Well, nothing right now. I'm in prison. I mean, um, it's nothing. It's strange, really. Uh, I'm a spirit medium. What the? Like for real, for real, or like, you know, it's your it's your side job, cause that what? In training, though, a spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Yeah, a little. Okay, I want to know more. Please enlighten me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the occult, but I do like its role in various forms of fiction. So you're an acolyte, a, a medium in training. That's right, the Fey family. Especially the women have always been sensitive to the spirit world. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait a second. You said the Fey family? So. Mia. Was into this stuff too? The. Cr I guess that explains the necklace. Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career. She said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was so hung up on that. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Dang. I guess that's why she's such a good defense attorney. Hmm. Wait, what? Huh? Uh, you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium. With ESP and all that? <laughs> uh, yeah, and training. <laughs> well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. Yeah. I never thought of that. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still in train. Oh, well, that makes sense. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. Thought that would be too easy. Yeah, but you know. You'll get there one day, I promise. I mean, may, may, I mean, that's all up to you. I don't know how this crap works, but keep it. Uh, hey, could you just tell me about the day of the murder? Let's just start there. <laughs> yes. Let's see. The morning I got a call from my sister. 
left. He wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Okay, real talk, I don't know how old this person is supposed to be, so it's really hard to get a read on her, uh, like, character. But if she's super young, I hope they don't do anything weird. Like, Ace Attorney Rider, don't let me down. God dang. I'm sick of that crap. But Johnny, you played, yeah, whatever. Um, so she wanted to hold on a piece of evidence. Weird. Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made? God, poor Larry. <laughs> Everything he touches, unlucky. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I, I remember. Do you want to hear it? In her own voice? Oh, oh, yeah, the tape! Her own voice. Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation's on my cell phone. You record your own call? What? Uh, yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> okay, it works for me. I guess cell phones actually were invented at this time. Now I feel like an idiot. Uh, so you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Well, let's hear it. Right. Oh, wait, that was confiscated because I'm in jail. Uh... Wait, I just remembered the detective took my... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> Next time I see a detective gum, she'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Yeah, sure, thanks. All right, conversation I have with my sister's record on the phone. That'll come up in the trial! I hope we get to that in this... I kind of hope we get into the in this episode. I don't know yet. I don't know if this game is pacing, but I'm really into the story right now. I love this. I mean, I don't love this, but I kind of do. I'm conflicted. Um, uh, huh? Something the matter? Uh, I was wondering. Can I ask you a favor? Uh, I don't see why not. This is the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well... I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Heck yeah, I will. I mean, I, I, you know, the best. Clearly, so, sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I really did not want you representing me. I, you know, I have no, no one else to turn to. That's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, um, say, what about your parents? <laughs> oh. Dang it. I... I see. Don't worry! Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow. What?! At 10. H how What... What magical world is this where you get your trial the day after? What?! T tomorrow. W what... What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Those are always good, right? Oh, honey, no, no, ah. Uh. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be right back. Yeah, uh, oh crap, we never asked her that. Okay, the day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. In fact, I'm pretty used to it, but uh, that's not good to say, all right. I've kind of got... Huh. Alright, uh... Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming... We already said this, what? Uh, that's the thinker. Yeah. Practically qualifies for serial murder by now. <laughs> Holy crap! So then, uh... When did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. Yeah. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then, I found her. My sister. <laughs> what? Uh, thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Alright, I guess we're good. We gotta hustle and, you know, I hate to leave her here, but, you know, we we gotta go see Miss, uh, Grossberg? Uh? September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. Okay. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Yeah, 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 whatever. Not to mention, run of an office like... <laughs> yeah, can we talk about this? Homie, I know you ain't reading that many books. I got the same thing in my house. I ain't read, I ain't read a single one. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to come back later. What? Huh? I guess that's like a story thing. Hopefully we'll see him on the way out. We only, we only have the detention center to go back to, though. They're messing with... Hey, what up? What is it? 
did you meet the lawyer? I saw his desk. Um, sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I-I see. Uh, I better- I better go see if I can find the elite lawyer she's talking about. I just went! Maybe this lawyer is, like, really tiny. Like, microscopic. Do you see him anywhere? Let me check this out. <laughs> A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Phoenix, we really ain't got time for this. What the crud are you doing? Uh, an expensive looking mahogany bookshelf. This dude loves mahogany. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> All right. Let me guess. A mahogany tree. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. <laughs> the heck is this on the uh, table? A table for clients. Yeah. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, the lighter's made of solid gold. Damn, I can't tell someone here's got money to burn. <laughs> Literally. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. What the dump? Should I investigate this? The painting's been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. Really? I didn't even pay attention to it. The oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. Okay. I'm sure the price... Nothing to sneeze at either. Get it? Because I said nose. Okay, this this writing is actually extremely clever, and I like it a lot. <laughs> well, there ain't jack crap to do here. I could I always go here. I'll give that a shot. September sixth, Fanco Law Offices. This time with less blood on the floor. Uh, the office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there? Oh, it's him. It's a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't, don't I know you from somewhere? Did you work at Subway? Uh, no, no, I, wait, you're that butts guy, ain't ya? I remember you. N no, not him, I'm Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I mean, come on. <laughs> Guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. Uh, the butts guy, he was a killer. And you're not a killer. Right. Uh, he was proven innocent, by the way. <laughs> um, God. All right, right. Uh, where are we? We we need to get the we need to get the phone, bro. Give me the phone. Wait. Oh yeah, Detective Gumshoe, wasn't it? Uh, Dick Gumshoe. Yeah, hey, yeah, you got it. At your service. Hang on. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right, please. Yeah. Okay, Dick. All right. <laughs> and I'll go around come. This game be reading my mind. Up, uh, hey, uh, Dick, get over here! <laughs> hey, watch your mouth! Yeah, uh, be right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, him. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. We got it. We got it. We're gonna about burning this place down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Um, uh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Well, ooh, this song's nice. Ah. Reminds me of the beach. I don't know why, so... First things first, we gotta get that phone. Uh, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you ain't gonna win. Why, why would... Why do you have to say that? What? Said he's put Prosecutor Edgeworth... Oh, Even I know who that is. <laughs> On the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know about what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Whew, okay, we'll get to him later. Uh, yeah, uh, about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Uh, blah, blah, blah. well, don't speak stupid. All right, you want to know the results? Well, yeah, that would be helpful. Don't no, you look at me like that, pal. Come on, you gotta ask nicer. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's supposed to be a jerk or not, but he seems that way. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get to get special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Okay, thanks. So, cause of death, single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Okay. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Let's talk about him. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Boy, you do know him, don't you? I know of him. But I guess technically not. Tell me about him. Never heard of him. Whoa! Hey, call yourself a lawyer, pal. I just started. What? 
about four years ago, Sedgworth Guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. I'm surprised I don't know him. Of course I don't know him. I was just playing dumb. Yeah, totally. Right. Uh, <laughs> he's a cold, heartless machine. He'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Crud, that's not, that's not good. The rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime. An almost abnormal passion. Well, if that's the case, I... But Maya, we know she didn't... Not every verdict needs to be guilty. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes people are innocent. As hard as that is to believe, but... I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. So he's like the big final boss. I thought it was just gonna be like... A bunch of middle-aged dudes back to back, but I guess not. Alright, so, um... Oh yeah, we gotta give him the note to, uh... What's it called? Get that. So here you go. I was wondering. Did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Uh, what? Oh yeah, I got it. Think you could give it back to me? Sure, I mean... Wait, wait, whoa, hold on a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Uh... Tell him straight is what I want to pick. Because honesty is always the best policy. But, like, you know, I, 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 want, I want to see what happens if you do this. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter, pal? You're monologuing a lot there. Oh, uh, no, um... Uh, that carrying strap on the cell phone. Yeah, this thing, yeah. Says the Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. What? Steel Samurai. Action here on TV? Uh, yeah. Strap's a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. Is that what she said? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. You got it, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. There you go. Don't do anything weird with it. Uh, seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Huh. My cell phone. All right, we got that. That's good. Check the court record to hear the rec Okay. Do I gotta do that now? Or should I do that during the trial? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'll be leaving now. Oh, wait. Why does he keep breathing like that? One more thing I want to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning to talk to that witness. Anyway, you better not. Uh, no influence in the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. What does that even mean? Uh, what the? Oh, her. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. I sure didn't. Uh, <laughs> you know me. Uh, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Yet. Uh, okay. Well, just you just told me her name is April May. But what? Uh, you're not really good at this, sir. <laughs> so you sent her home already, then? <laughs> you're trying to your lawyerly tricks on me. Ah, Jedi mind trick ain't gonna happen. I know them all. Yeah, uh, she's not going outside her room until the trial. Okay, so she's in that hotel. Got it. <laughs> yeah, she's right across the street. Sick, thanks. I guess I should know better than to try and get a detective to link info. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're- this guy's dumb as dirt! <laughs> you got that right, pal. Maybe a lesser detective, but not. Get gumshell. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. All right, let's uh, head out. I, I mean, is there anything else we need to examine here? I don't know. It seems like the cops are just gonna kind of deal with all of it. Uh, yeah, we can actually go here now. Sweet. So let's uh, say hello. Oh my gosh, this place is fancy. Gatewater Hotel, room three hundred three. What? Hello! <laughs> hello there, handsome. Uh, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. Yeah. No, the war. I can't. Uh, what do I do? Why is she doing that with her hands? It's so stupid. <laughs> You're the warrior, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Yeah. Gee. It's all like something out of a movie. What video game? It's all so exciting. 
I can hardly contain. A woman is dead! You. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me get fresh enough so I can look the parts of the beautiful witness. Uh huh, okay. I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. Wait, that's me. Crud. Um. Is there anything? Well, this is obviously sus, but outside of that, everything else just seems kind of normal. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. And, uh, someone was also messing with the phone. She really should have done a better job hiding that. Wow. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Uh, uh, what are you doing? No touching. Oh, God. She's freaky. Uh... Ooh, bad boy. I am so glad no one is home right now. Gee, you really shouldn't pry into other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. Yeah, she looked kind of scary. <laughs> but, I mean, nice suit, I guess. Uh, this girl's... Ugh, though. Um, I wonder what could be inside the drawer. She's like, hey, look over there. <laughs> just check real quick. Crud. All right, let's just um ask her what, we, what she saw. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. That's because I am. I'm like a man with a big vocabulary. Oh, well, I am... I guess I'm not the worst vernacular. Okay, who cares? What? She's 2D. God. Better not encourage her. Okay. Keep her professional. A young girl is gonna die. I don't know how young. It doesn't matter. Okay, she's not gonna die. Why do I keep saying that? She's gonna be in jail, which sucks. Okay. You know that thing that occurred, um, uh, happened the other... God, why am I... Why can't I... Why is the text right... You, you know what I'm saying, right? It's distracting. Whatever. Um, what happened the other day? The bad thing. The thing with the, you know, the girl. Oh, my God. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please. Let me see. Hmm. Well. Dream on. What? Uh, you want to know? You'll have to come to court tomorrow. So we will be Mr. Warrior. Oh, boy. She is not... Messing around, the heck. I mean, come on! Do, are people that afraid of lawyers? I mean, I guess. I don't know. I've never actually met one. Just a lot of very pretty... Okay, I'll stop there. Um, Defense attorneys, I guess. Mia, Miss Nijima... Oh my god, I... That's a, that's a strange pattern. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> Could you just... Uh, who exactly are you? And could you please button that top button? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer... Are you hitting on me? N no, absolutely not. I'm, I'm just doing my job here, okay? Mm -hmm. You know you're cute when you blush. Uh, believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. What? I find that hard to believe. Oh, she's recently deceased, John. Why, what is wrong with me? I just really like lawyers, okay? They're, whatever. Um, uh, right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well... No. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Ugh, you suck, lady. God. <sighs> What's up with this room? How can you afford this crud? I see there are two... I didn't even notice that. Very observant of you, Phoenix. I mean, there's always just kind of two glasses, though. At least in the hotels I've been, but whatever. Yeah, there's two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. I know, isn't he just the greatest? Oh, God, stop it. You must be one of those famous detectives. Like on TV, I don't think anyone could be a detective and a defense attorney and still work eight hours a day. Like, holy crud, that would be a lot of work. Not me. I'm a... just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Bad Detective, why don't you go look for clues? In the garbage. <laughs> Miss May doesn't like nosy little warriors. <laughs> oh boy. She is outwardly uh, aggressive and a little mean. Why are we here? Oh yeah. Alright, this sucks. Let's, um... 
do we present evidence to her? I'm not sure. I guess presenting any of this would be kind of pointless. Is there any... I, I don't know, bro. I mean, if we can't check this out, if we... Oh, we could probably check this out. This might be a clue. No clues here. Oh, wait, I missed. Wait, did I? No, uh, the late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fei Co. office building, of course. You could see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. Weird. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Hmm, that's gonna definitely come up. Is there anything else? I really don't think so. All right, you are, um... Let's not beat around the bush, okay? I came into this pretty biased to like this person, but boy, oh boy, she is just straight up a turd. There's definitely something fishy going on in here. I don't know what the dump. I, I clicked on everything. Um, I'm probably not going to show it. Did we go... I, I don't think I need to say this. This is blind, by the way. I've never played this game before, but uh, I, let's try going here. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Groy's... Oh, still? Maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Oh. Okay, we're good. Ahem. It, that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> so you're the one they said. Wait, that's literally just the judge. What do I... I, don't, I cannot think of these voices on the fly. So you're the one they say has been looking for me? Uh, yeah, that's a me. He looks even grander than I imagined. He looks kind of... Everyone's very large in this game. Like, they're very wide, I notice. Uh, huh? Not bad on the collar. Ah, you're a lawyer, aren't you? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, yes. And what do you want? <laughs> I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, please proceed. Not busy? How come no one can get in touch with you? <laughs> I play a lot of frisbee. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Something the matter? Is it my pen? I found it on the floor. <laughs> you came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg. Did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want out with it? <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> uh, well, sir, I, I'm i a little too old for that. I mean, <laughs> not say, no one's too old for Christmas. It, but it's about M Maya, Maya Faye. Oh. <sighs> Yes, my affair. Go on, boy. No, why the strange reaction? Uh, cha cha. What? I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. What? Wait a second. What? How did you know the trial was to? Wait, yeah. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Huh? The crud. Oh, um. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask. What the crud? Is he in on this too? Why am I so untrusting of people? I don't... Uh, what do I tell Maya? I don't know. Bro, what? Like, why? Give me just... Give me a straight up answer. How could you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. <laughs> um, uh, well, well, you see, it's just I, I'm busy, you see. I mean, I got how many days till Christmas is it? Oh, gosh, I have no time at all. <laughs> I gotta start shopping now. <laughs> it's the middle of the summer. <laughs> but the client is, but the client is Mia Faye's sister. <laughs> uh, um, I... Uh, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Oh, yes, well, of course. Uh, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Gosh, I sound, I, I sound legitimately mad. <laughs> Think not. Huh? What was that? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What the heck do you mean? I'm so angry today. What is going on? <laughs> I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Because of Miles, dude. Crud. Ugh. 
I cannot say why. Uh, I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Dump! You know, despite our differences, I gotta say, that is a nice painting. Oh, that's quite a painting. Oh, you've noticed. I got it for Christmas. <laughs> it's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea. The, there's not even a sea in there. What? The weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. It was a gift, after all. I won't sell it. Not even to you. I don't want your stupid painting of Cotton Eye Joe. Shut up. Uh. I wasn't interested. <laughs> it's not for sequinas, give me poor. I'm not buying. Jeez. My apartment's not even that big. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. That's a joke between me and one of my friends. All right. Uh, how did you know Mia Faye? Hmm. She worked here long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. What was her mission? The heck? Okay, well, like, uh, that's all we're getting out of him, I guess. It's Get on out of here, but where do we go? I guess back to Maya to tell, hey, yeah, the guy, um, he's a turd. He's up, he's scared. September 6th, 342. Dang, we took a minute. Detention center, visitor's room. I'm not going to say that every time. Uh, okay, um, hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Well, what do I tell her? I don't know, dude. Uh. Well, see, um, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> he is lying. That dude's bigger than, bigger than Iron Giant. No, that's not right. Uh, what really happened? I'm that bad liar. Okay. Uh, you, you don't mean he refused to help. Uh. Crud, dude. I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh, you poor th I'm the crud! Listen, that guy sucks. Screw him. I don't care who miles per hour is. I'm gonna beat him, alright? What about your family? Come on, there's gotta be another psychic lawyer in the family, right? Maybe a distant aunt? I, I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. Can this episode lighten up? Holy crud. Like... Gosh, my, I don't, I forget what I call it, but savior complex, I don't know, messiah complex, it is kicking in to the extreme, and I'm upset. God, and I don't know where my mother is. You don't know? So she could still be alive. Sequels, oh crud, okay, uh, your mom. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. What the cr- What? Ruined. What does that mean? I hope nothing too bad. Jeez. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So that was the mission to get, I guess, to bring with her whatever crime happened to their family to just like to light so you live by yourself N yeah I've gotten used to it I also have a ton of plushies but I cannot bring them with me um, also I had to become independent or I'd lose my powers what I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain you know that mountain we have in America you know the one uh, your mother's enemy so who is this man who ruined your mom. What? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate, so they went to you. Crud. They... They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? 
the police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so... I guess it didn't go well. The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my m mother helped... Wait. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Crud. The police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. Dude. I guess it's not, like, perfect then. Uh, I mean, uh, they should have they should have knew that, though. What? A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother had been a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, she became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. That's rough. Crud. White. Huh? What? Uh, excuse me? What? White what? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Uh-huh. Just a little longer now. Before the state-appointed lawyer comes to save the day. I guess. Yeah. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Bro, go in there! You gotta, man! I mean, I ain't an idiot. This is, obvious. this is obviously in the last chapter, but... Do I just leave her and go home? No! Defend Maya! Ugh! Even if you lose. I've made up my mind. Because the nerd playing the game told me to. I'm gonna defend you, whether you want me to or not! Okay... Uh, but why? Why? Well... I haven't thought of that yet. Uh... I mean, duh, but like... I feel like this would be the nicer thing to say to someone who's had her type of life. Yeah. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know I've been there. A long time ago. Aw. Baby Phoenix is so oh, that's so precious! Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Dang. God, he's so... Phoenix Wright is so cool! <laughs> Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me! Okay, that's so kind of you, but could you say it with a little less finesse? I mean, you know, you sound like an anime character, <laughs> but it was still touching. <laughs> God. Heck yeah, dude, let's do this. I'm all fired up. Well, now what? Uh, let's fight this one and get you out of here. All right. Thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. What, the cr <laughs> what a stupid question! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Why did she do that with her hands? No adult human would do... Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It's when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. But how do we get that? I don't... Do, do we go back? I mean, I, I guess we could try. I mean, I feel like it's a little rude to be like, yo, what? Oh, what the? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, excuse me, you are, um. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment. At your service. D? No, I'm alright. Uh, uh, right, yeah. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, um,. How do you say it politely? The crapper? If you're no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you'd like. Enjoy. Unless you're not allowed to be here, then, um... Uh, yeah, 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 go, 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 Wait, no, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? <laughs> Bro, just, just relax, ain't no thing. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that actually... Oh my gosh. Why am I so scared of everything? God. You came back quick. Jeez. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there's a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White... Bruh. I'm mad. <laughs> Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Yes. Yeah, sure, whatever. Buzz off. Uh, Mr. White of Blue Corp. 
Where have I heard that name? Literally five minutes ago. White. People can't dance. But that's just my opinion. Maya! No! That was his name. My sister told me. Hmm. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a co coincidence? <laughs> I mean, he's not a detective, he's a lawyer, but lawyers all- whatever. Let's just examine this crap and me stop micro-bullying Phoenix. God. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside! What do we have here? A wire t That's illegal! What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the courtroom record, okay. There's definitely something suspicious about this. Miss May! I bet she wasn't even born then! Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. We got him, dude, but how do we put it all together? Ugh! But for Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, oh my god. Ugh! I mean, you know what I mean. What, uh, oh, Bell Boy's still here. <laughs> uh oh, time to scram. Tsh! <laughs> Jumps out that window. <laughs> I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. <laughs> As if you smell weird. <laughs> In court. Yeah, that's what I meant. Totally. <laughs>